Semarang Old Town is a strategic area in the city of Semarang which has various buildings from the Dutch colonial heritage. This historic area has undergone many changes in recent years, especially since the start of an area revitalization project funded by the central government. Kota Lama Semarang currently has a very strong attraction for both investors and tourists. Several franchises from inside and outside the city began to appear in this area. This makes the old city of Semarang contribute a large amount of local taxes. The interest in Kota Lama is due to its uniqueness which is a historical heritage. Therefore, the city government of Semarang feels obliged to restore one of the buildings in this area, namely Oda Trap, to remind that this area is not only a tourist and business area in general, but an area of extraordinary value. This effort has proven to be successful as the old town now emerges to become one of the most attractive business districts in Semarang. According to the European Shipboard map of 1835 to 1840, the location of this building was part of the second Semarang City Hall. In October 4, 1850, the City Hall was burnt down. The conservation and restoration of this building is in line with the national law on heritage that gives mandate to all Indonesian people to conserve, protect, and utilize heritage buildings in a correct manner. This practice is also supported with local regulation and the old town building and special planning. Oda Trap was purchased by municipal government in 2016. It used to be an empty warehouse. The restoration process then began in 2017. This building is divided into four different zones, with Zone A and Zone B as the heritage zone, and so C and D as new additional buildings. The new additional buildings were built as facilities to support the new function of Oda Trap. Yielding A and B, maintenance, there is no increase in both the area and height of the building. While building C and D are additional structures, building C is used for garden and bathroom, kitchen, lavatory, building D is for open theater, generator house, and prayer room. The original blueprint of the building was not found, so we use old photos, 3D scanning, and the building plan from the last owner. Restoration was carried out in 2017 and lasted for 180 days. The building reopens for public in January 2018. Almost all of the older tribe building area was restored. The older tribe building is a heritage building, so it needed special handling in the engineering process. An initial research with 3D scanning was conducted in order to provide documentation of the original structure and material. All the materials were locally sourced and were divided into two kinds, conventional and conservation material. The conventional building material was sourced from regular hardware store, while the conservation material was sourced from skilled and specialized craftsmen. This project is also involved some experts in their respective fields. For example, civil engineers to overview the structure of the building, architects interfere with the design, and mechanical engineer and electrician. All of these experts worked in close coordination with the project coordinator and the municipal government. Another important expert was archaeologist to monitor whether the historic value of the building is still maintained throughout the restoration process. The building condition after restoration is very good. It maintains 80% of the original structures while adding some facilities for its new function. The authenticity of the building was clearly seen. The funding for this project solely come from local public budget and cost around 10 billion rupees. Public are free to enter the building. However, to rent the space, there are some daily charges that cost around 1.5 million to 3 million rupees. There was a feasibility study for the financial aspect of this restoration that was carried out in 2016. The marketing strategy works in accordance with what has been stipulated in the local law on the spatial and environmental planning for the old town, namely Local Regulation Number 2 Year 2020. 
Old Town of Samarang is promoted as a world tourism destination by protecting the assets of historic buildings and the environment. Because by maintaining the authenticity of the historic area, it means that it has helped to protect significant values in the area. The materials used are environmentally friendly, such as non-toxic paints and porous paints. For plaster, it does not use cement, which is back in the past using placon, namely a mixture of sand, crushed bricks, and limestone. There was also an attempt to create natural lighting and ventilation by utilizing big openings in the original design. A garden between building A and B was created to add more green open spaces in the vicinity. The municipal government also improved the quality of Sri Gunting Park that is located right in front of Oda Track. In our daily operation, we also carry out the waste management by separating the waste into organic and non-organic. As for the parking, there are some designated parking space in the area of Old Town. The visitors should walk from those parking spaces to access all the track. This is part of the municipal government's commitment to reduce emission in and around the Old Town. Community Benefits Community members can utilize this building for events such as exhibition, art performance, and cultural-related activities. The municipal government has designed a guide for responsible visitation in the old town to make tourism activities more educational and gives a beneficial experience, especially for younger generations. 